Meantime, Australians have been told to expect a bumpy road ahead as the Reserve Bank Governor hints more rate rises will be needed to slash inflation. Trudy McIntosh is live for us in Canberra. Trudy, what was his message today? Well, Ash, a fairly blunt message from Reserve Bank Governor Phil Lowe. He says it is too early to be declaring victory over inflation. He says he's confident we've seen the peak, but it still remains stubbornly too high. As you say, he says we are facing a bumpy time ahead in the economy. He's acknowledged that this is difficult for households to continue to see interest rates hikes. That was now the 12th in the space of 13 months. And the governor seems to indicate that we will be seeing more to come uh, during the course of this year. This is the reasons delivered by Phil Lowe this morning in Sydney, an explanation as to why the bank had to increase rates yesterday. Upside surprises on inflation, upside surprises on wages, upside surprises on housing prices, upside surprises on inflation overseas. We felt like we couldn't just sit idly and say, well, this is just all accidental, it's all just noise. The conclusion we reached was that this represents upside risk to the inflation outlook in Australia. The Reserve Bank Governor also sounded the alarm about rising wages in Australia at a time of flatlining productivity. Some of the strongest comments we've seen from him and the most pointed on this. He reflected on that minimum wage hike we saw last Friday by the Fair Work Commission. He says the Reserve Bank was surprised as to that size of the increase. 8.6% for those on the absolute lowest minimum wage, higher than inflation. Phil Lowe warning Australians, unions and also the government that we cannot be chasing really high wages at a time where we basically have flatlining productivity. Take a look. It's perfectly understandable for the lowest paid workers in the, the um, country to be compensated for inflation. We will get ourselves though into trouble if we accept the premise that all workers need to be compensated for inflation. Uh, the concern would arise if the five and a three quarter percent increase became a benchmark or a quasi benchmark for um, outcomes in uh, private sector wages more broadly. And that's a very difficult message for a Labor government who went to the last election promising to get wages moving. We saw yesterday Jim Chalmers essentially distancing himself from this rate decision, saying he understood that a lot of Australians would find this difficult to cop. He also didn't take the opportunity, Ash, to echo that message from Phil Lowe on wages. He was asked whether his message to unions is not to chase inflation-beating pay rises. He didn't say that. He said instead that people on the lowest wages shouldn't be blamed for the inflation problem that we're currently facing.